Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cynthia Uchendu, and here we talk about how to cultivate an atmosphere of heaven on earth and to make Jesus famous. I am so excited that you're here today, and I'm even more excited that you are gonna be a part of the family by subscribing. So make sure that you subscribe, and when you do, hit the bell so that you know every time we upload a video. All right, so as you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm really just here to instill a message of hope into the atmosphere. Now it goes without saying that the world is currently in chaos, but I want to show you that that's not the case for every single person. And so we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into the scriptures because that's where I'm gonna be teaching from today, of course. So we're gonna look at Psalms chapter 84, verse five to seven. And it says, happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a source of spring water. Even the autumn rain will cover it with blessings. They go from strength to strength. Each appears before God in Zion. And I just want to hone in on verses five to six. It says, happy are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the Valley of Baca or Valley of Tears. They make it a source of spring water. Even the autumn rain will cover it with blessings. And so really what the scripture is trying to communicate or what I understood the scripture to communicate is that in the valley of tears for some people, where some people experience hardships and tears, for you it's going to be a place of spring water. For you it's going to be a place of replenishment, of rain, of blessings. And so although you know a great majority of people are going through hardship during this time, it doesn't have to be that way for you, amen? I was recently researching something about COVID-19 and I was just curious to know, you know, has COVID-19 impacted or affected all of the nations in the world? And to my knowledge, no, it hasn't. You know, from what I saw this article that I read, it said no, like there were some nations that COVID-19, there was no cases reported for COVID-19, right? And so, you know, some people could argue, well, maybe they didn't report out correctly, or maybe that's just not a well-populated nation. I'm not here to argue that. I'm here to just simply state that because the large majority of people may be going through something who may be impacted by police brutality what's going on in nigeria with the sars movement what's going on in cameroon with the children who were ambushed essentially that's not the case for other people god is still on the move um, for a good majority of people things are still happening good things are still happening and i don't want this to be insensitive to anyone who has been affected i think we can all say that um, everyone has been affect affected in some way or another this year by everything right that's going on um some more than others but what i am saying is that you know things are still happening for people valley of tears where people may be going through hardship for some people it will be spring water and it's not because you know there's anything special about them it's simply because they've chosen to put their strength in the lord right and so um people are still getting jobs getting promoted people are still getting pregnant having children people are still you know getting married um people are still building home god is on the move um can we even talk about the souls i mean have you seen what's going on with the sean um, Foy, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, with his movement. He's traveling the U.S., you know, preaching the gospel, leading people in worship. People are getting baptized. Or is it Christ Forgiveness Ministries with Pastor David Lynn, who is traveling? Initially, it was Canada. He was doing a cross-Canada tour. Now, I think he's traveling the U.S. or the whole world, just preaching the gospel. And, um, and so, things are happening. Souls are getting saved. People are getting baptized. If you saw my... Um, I think two videos ago I posted, or the last video I posted was about evangelism, right? People are still hearing the gospel in this time, and so I just want to encourage you to have hope, to do not cast away your confidence. I know what's being portrayed by the media and the news and social media and even people is that, you know, the world is in chaos and nothing is going right almost is what it seems, and I want you to understand the job of the media. The job of the media in some way is really to instill fear in the hearts of man. I mean, is there ever a time you turn on the news and you see something good? Um, for me, very rarely, and I don't even watch the news um, often. And so um, I really just want to encourage you to not be swayed by what you see and what's being put out there and don't allow um, people to project things on you that, oh, because, you know, they may be going through hardship or things are just hard for the world, that that has to be my case. Like, that does not have to be your case. Guard your heart. Take care of yourself. Practice self-care. Unplug if you need to. Like, 
take care, I'm an advocate for taking care of yourself, okay? And as much as I believe in the word of God, I also believe in the practicality of unplugging, okay? Some things we inflict on ourselves because we won't turn it off. <laughs> so it's really just that simple. And so I really don't wanna belabor the point. I really just want to encourage you all, please, um, you know, just understand and look at the other perspective that God is still on the move, that people are still drinking um, spring water. People are still experiencing blessings and rain. And it's not because, again, it's not because they're really special or because God has favored one and not favored the others, because one has simply chosen to put their trust and their strength in God. Um, the Bible says in Isaiah 2 verse 22, it says, do not put your trust in a mere human who only has the breath in his nostrils. Hello, I mean, like you and I, we both have just breath in our nostrils. Put your trust in God, put your strength in God and God alone. And I promise you that for you, you know, and the blessings may not always be tangible. You know, it may not always be that, oh, I'm getting the job, the house, the money, the whatever. It may just be that God is watching over you, that God is protecting you. I mean, hello, God is causing the plague to pass over your home, amen? You know, and so when he's giving you peace of mind, Isaiah, 26 3 that he who keeps his mind fixed on you will receive constant peace i mean peace of mind is a gift that anyone should want i mean you can't buy peace of mind amen and for some people they're not able to have that because they don't understand um the secrets of heaven and so i really want to encourage you please do not cast away your confidence in your hope um, that was something i was really sensing that the enemy was trying to extract hope from people um, but i'm here to communicate to you and i come in the name of the lord jesus and i come to you to tell you to deliver this message that there is hope that god is still on the move that good things are still happening that although the the mass majority may be experiencing something or it may be perceived that way that the mass majority is going through something that that's not what the whole entire narrative is what's the whole story okay amen there are nations that have not experienced COVID-19 and while we may feel like the whole 2020 has been thrown away because of this virus there are people who are still living life who have not been impacted by this thing and that's the reality of it you know um everyone's story does not look like your story and so I just pray that you were able to receive hope and to regain strength um it's time for believers to rise up if you haven't already heard the alarm you know from the beginning of this year you really need to rise up and to wake up um, I also feel like another message that's put on my heart is awaking from slumber I believe the Lord is really knocking on people's doors to wake up um, to sound the alarm you really need to be in the place of prayer if you don't know what to pray about listen pray for the nations of the world pray for your political leaders pray for your family pray for those who are not saved. there's so much to pray about and so yeah, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to keep going on because you guys know I can go on and on and on, but I'm just going to stick to what I came on here to talk about today. I pray that this blesses you and it encourages you and I pray that you leave feeling uplifted and motivated, but also leaving with knowledge of this is what I need to do. All right. So thank you all so much for watching and tuning in today. If this resonated with you, as always, comment down below. And how about this? Let's start a blessings train. If God has done something for you has blessed you in any way from the beginning of 2020 up until now comment down below and i'm gonna start i'm gonna comment down below what god has done for me and in my life um this year and again it doesn't have to be tangible but just let it be something that you have recognized that oh my goodness it could even be breath of life hello there are people who entered into 2020 that are no longer here as we speak and so let's give god glory for that i believe man y'all i told y'all i was done but i keep woo. um another passage of scripture just came to my mind psalms 100 verse 4 the bible says enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and so as you come into his presence he's wanting you to thank him you know gratitude is the language of heaven thank him thank god like seriously thank god you know and so yeah i'm gonna leave that right there i love you all so much i appreciate all of your love and support i really don't take it lightly when you guys reach out to me and tell me you're praying for me especially that means a whole lot thank you for praying for me continue to pray for me um you know and um anything else i think that's all so enjoy your day be safe practice self-care be in the place of prayer use wisdom and i will be back sometime soon all right bye